On Fox, the last two months are described as terrifying for a Houston woman who we're told is being detained in Dubai. Fox 26's Domly Keith joining us live near downtown Houston with why she's being held, Domly. Well, the crime she's charged with may surprise you, and Dubai is increasingly becoming a vacation spot for a number of Houston women. One who's there right now, according to her social media page, uh, is... Hold on now. At any time I hear people going to Dubai, I know what I be thinking about. I'm thinking about that doodle -doo vacation. Now this may not be the, the case, but the Instagram models had made has made it very hard for us to believe that y'all just going to Dubai for the sightseeing. Okay. Is trying to get back to the Bayou City, but like according to her mom, her passport has been confiscated because she was charged with screaming in public. Oh, it, al it also could result in prison time, so it's very scary. The trip turned terrifying for Tierra Young Allen when her mom says she was a passenger in a friend's rental car and they got into an accident there in Dubai. Tina Baxter says when her daughter went to the company to retrieve her ID, credit card, and other items left in the rental, Baxter says it did not go well. She found out that she could only receive those items if she paid an undisclosed amount of money. Um, she dealt with a very ag aggressive individual, a young man there who was screaming at her. Baxter says her 29-year-old daughter ultimately yelled back at the rental car agent, she says resulting in her being charged for screaming there in Dubai. Hey, it wasn't that she was screaming, bro. It was the fact that she screamed at a man. Y'all got to understand, in them countries, they don't really respect women like that. That's... I'm going to wait till the end. That's sad. And so she is in jail for one reason and one reason alone. She raised her voice. In that country, a female is not even allowed to raise her voice. If she raises her voice, it's punishable by jail time. It's been very emotional. That's exactly There's what some happened. some days I stay up all night crying. They have a strict law system that is really based on theocracy. This website warns, quote, laws and customs are very different, so be aware of your actions to ensure they don't offend while in United Arab Emirates. Now, after Baxter says her daughter was charged with screaming in Dubai, her passport has been taken, and the American social media influencer who works as a truck driver can't leave the UAE, according to her mom. And her mom says she's been placed under a travel ban pending the outcome of the investigation. It's very frightening. Um, the longer she's been there, the more reality has started to kick in. In our opinion, she did not commit a crime. Don't punish women for doing the same thing a man can do in Dubai. It's not fair and it's not right. Now, the 29-year-old does now have an attorney there in Dubai, and her mom says she's told that she could face jail time because there is surveillance video of her screaming. Now, we have reached out to the U.S. and the UAE embassies. Will government officials step in and give her assistance? I'm still awaiting responses. Reporting live near downtown Houston, I'm Damali Keith, Fox 26 News. Americans. Please stop going to these other people country and feeling as though you can do the same thing that you do at home. Just like Brittany Grinder or Brittany Granger. Right? What's her name? Um We don't Brittany. Right? Y'all remember the basketball player that went to Russia? And she got caught with a vape pen and some cartridges in her in her um her luggage, and she was finna do some jail time for that. Now, if you get caught with a car, you can walk in front of the police smoking a blunt in certain states, and you good. She got caught with a vape pen, and they was finna they was finna put her ass in the system. Now I don't know what Russian prisons is like. I only seen movies, but boy, I would. I'm good. They're finna put her big ass to work. But in this situation, this is a sad situation. But at the same time, like, Dubai is one of them countries in the Middle East. Like, I don't even think women could wear certain things in Dubai. So if you're in a country where you can't wear certain things as a woman, 
What makes you feel as though you can go screaming at these dudes over there? What make you think what make you think like that's okay? I still think it's a sad situation, but at the same time, Americans and I'm speaking as somebody who has dual citizenship because when I lived in the Caribbean, I noticed that too, that people, Americans specifically, I can say that, Americans specifically, whether you black, white, Asian, Hispanic, as long as you was in America for a long period of time, you might have grew up out here, your family came, you used to, they used to come down to our country and feel as though they could run things. You feel what I'm saying? Like the rules didn't apply to them. I understand in America you have a lot of freedom. You can do what the hell you want. But other places have rules and regulations that you need to follow. When the when the when the Australians Australia is part of America too, ain't it? That's crazy. But when the freaking Australians come down there and uh the British people come down there, they energy be so they, their energy used to be so different than how like when Americans came down there. I can tell you that, and I'm I'm talking from experience. That was way before I, I um well, I, I came here, came here when I was like nine, ten. I came to America when I was like ten. I think no, I came to America when I was nine. So prior to that. You know, we used to see all the people coming on the, on the cruise ships and all that visiting, and we, you know we used to interact with a lot of them. And I'm telling you, bro, that the the energy that that people from America had was so crazy. And when I once I moved to this country, I kind of understood it. Like it's so much fucking freedom over here, bro. Like they call this shit the land of milk and honey, but really, this is the land of choice. This is the land of choice. Certain rights that certain individuals feel as though they have based on their sexual preference or, you know, whatever, right? You want to be identified, you want to identify yourself as a damn rat, you can. You want to identify yourself as an ant, you can. In America, you can identify yourself as whatever the hell you want to identify yourself as. In certain countries, you go over there and try to pull that shit, they're going to stone you to death. I want to get married to my dog. This type of shit be going on in America. I want to get married to my dog. They going to stone your ass to death in, in them other countries. That was ex an extreme example that I gave. But at the same time, please, when you're going on these trips, respect the rules and regulations of other countries. Especially if you're going to a country like Dubai. Them countries in the Middle East, they don't play. Ladies... Ladies, your daddy could trade you for a sheep in some of them countries in the Middle East. I, I gave you the example before. A dude could come over there. Hey, Mr. Muhammad, I like your daughter. I want her. I got two cows and and a sheep that that and a goat. You can get some goat milk from. I want your daughter. And your daddy gonna review the situation. He gonna go review the cows. He gonna look over look over the cows and say, okay, this one is fat. You know, I like this one here. And he gonna give you up. He gonna give you up. Your husband could look like dirt. And guess what? You think you're gonna get divorced? You're gonna get divorced and now you made the family look bad. That's what they be going through over there, son. They be going through shit like that over there. And your American ass is going to go over there and think, as a, as a woman, you could just yell at this man in his business establishment. Just, just Listen, man. It's not fair. I think that was some whole shit. But at the same time, do... I'm sorry. That's my phone to remind me I need to drink water. At the same time, please do understand that the rules and regulations are different in other countries. All right, now.